Hey guys, so I had a goal this week to do a YouTube video every other day and do a blog post on the opposing day. Well, yesterday I did a blog post. I actually did one today too, so. But I wanted to get a video up today for you guys. And the video I'm doing today is a tag video and it's called Why I'm on YouTube. It's kind of like the um, makeup story tag, but this is more universal. Anybody can, anybody can do it, not just someone in the um, beauty community. So I have my computer right here and I'm just going to read the questions. There's just five. Um, and so the first question is, what inspired you to make your channel? Well, almost a year ago, actually, I can't believe it's already been almost a year, but in April of last year, my best friend and I were just looking on YouTube for different tutorials, different, just different things. And she had come across um, Juicy Star 07 or Blair and she had come across her room tour and so we instantly were addicted to makeup collection videos and stuff that were was like that where it showed everybody's makeup and their setup and kind of like their organization and their storage and I gotta tell you for days that's all I did was just search makeup collection videos and watch them well then I started finding other videos by some of the collections that I liked and so I started subscribing to some of these girls and I noticed that they did so much more than just a collection video and it was so like exciting and inspiring to me that I was like you know I would love to be one of like one of these girls like I would love to inspire other people help other people I would love to be able to answer the questions that I myself am asking and so at first I was a little nervous because I'm very self-conscious and so I was like you know I better wait until I you know know quite a lot about makeup I better wait till my makeup collections bigger just so that I'm prepared and I'm confident enough well I think it was in June I think was when I made my first video um, and the reason I decided to do it so quickly instead of waiting until my collection had grown or until um, I knew more about it was because I was just too excited to wait. I I wanted to get right in there. When I find something that I love, I want to be involved in every aspect. And I thought that making videos might help me to further my knowledge um, because I figure if I'm making videos and I ask a question and I don't know the answer, someone else out there might know the answer and be able to give that to me. And I just thought that it would be a really great way to share tips and, you know, information and just have fun with it. So I guess what really inspired me was just finding all these other amazing gurus on YouTube and me wanting to be like that. I wanted to be my own type of guru. Not, I don't want to be exactly like anybody else, but I did want to be a part of the beauty community. Alright, the second question is, who or what inspired you to make your first video? Well, I kind of already answered that in the first question. Um, I found Blair and Owl, which is Juicy Star 07 and All That Glitters 21. Um, I'm sure that a lot of people find them first. Um, I found a few other ones like Lollipop 26. And then as I started digging more, I found some of my favorite gurus. My... Um, I love Marlena or Makeup Geek. She's amazing. My favorite guru of everyone that I follow is Amariques or Allison. Um, she is very professional in her videos. She always tells her honest opinion in reviews. She is just very sweet. Like I love her makeup style and I just I love everything about that girl. She's just amazing. And so her and a few other of the makeup gurus that I that I watched regularly, I just I was always in awe of them. And so they inspired me to be more confident with myself and to be able to get out there and put videos up on YouTube. All right, number three, what was your first video? Um, I think my first video was just an introduction video to my channel, um, but like my first real like makeup video was a foundation routine, which. Looking, thinking back of that video, I kind of cringe because I did my foundation routine. I taped it, didn't realize the camera wasn't on, so I had to move to a better lighting to be able to show you what I did. And I don't have like a full face of makeup on, and I think I'm just in like PJs or something. And it, ugh, ugh. I, I might actually go back and delete it. It's that bad. But I mean, you live and you learn. Um, 
as I'm as I got to the point where I learned how to like edit videos and I was learning more makeup techniques I if you go back and watch my videos you can I can see myself evolve a little bit each time and that video just kind of makes me laugh so my first video was the introduction and then the first real makeup video was a foundation routine um, number four, how long have you been doing videos? Have you been posting videos? Um, I think June will be one year. I'm pretty sure I posted my very first video in June. I will have to go back and look because I don't remember exactly. It might be May even. But it's one of those months from this last summer. So it's coming up on a year, which is crazy. It doesn't feel like it's been a year already. But Number five, do any of your family or friends know you make videos? If yes, how did you tell them? If no, do you plan on telling them? Um, my best friend, she knew when I first started. She was one of my first subscribers. Um, and then a few other of my close friends knew as well that I talked to online. And they, um, you know, supported me and everything. My husband knew. I didn't come right out and tell my family because as much as... I was starting to get more confidence. I still was kind of shy to tell them because my I love my family to death, but they'll be the first to make fun of you just just for a good laugh. Like even if they don't mean to be, you know, rude or, you know, hurt your feelings, they're just picking on you. And sometimes I take that too seriously. So instead of possibly, you know, defeating me, I didn't tell anyone, just come on and be like, Hey, guess what I'm doing? Um but I think the way they found out was I would post statuses on, like, Facebook and, like, MySpace and all that. And I would say, you know, kids are napping, going to go film or something. Well, if someone, what are you filming? And so I would just tell them. And some of my family did ask for my channel name, and I didn't give it to them at first because I was still new and I was, I was really scared that I was just going to be kind of rejected and I didn't want them to witness my rejection on YouTube just in case like it didn't go well and then after a while I I never posted any of my videos on my Facebook page but I made my person or I made a makeup Facebook page and I started posting videos on that well once I started doing that I started I felt so much better because I'm like you know what if they want to see it they can go see it now if they don't want to see it they don't have to go see it and Honestly, my family, um, they don't know a lot about YouTube, so they don't, they kind of steer clear of it, but they do support me. They do know that it's something that I love. They know that makeup, nails, beauty, everything about it is something that I'm very dedicated to, something that I enjoy very much, and so they know that it's something that makes me happy. I think everybody who I care about now knows, and you know, they're pretty supportive. So that's the um, end of the tag. Um, really short, really sweet. Um, basically, I just wanted to, I've already given you guys my makeup story, so I just kind of wanted to do this tag. I thought it'd be fun to kind of tell you why I am on YouTube, how I got started, and all that jazz. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.